Okay, so this is a look at my whole space. So that's a two and a half meter long desk, I think, from Bunnings. It's just a trestle table. I do want one of those cute wooden ones, but at the moment this will suffice. Um, I have, if you've been keeping up with the scrappery blog posts and whatever, you'll know that I am currently doing the kits from Tasmania because Nay had a little break while she was getting married and on her honeymoon. So just zoom in underneath my <laughs> desk is boxes of stock and pink tissue paper and things for customers so I keep all that under there for now just to keep it out of the way it's even little doggies in the backyard running around so this room is actually my bedroom so I'll give you a 360 tour so this is my bed my bed's bread needs ironing and my little bookcase and then we have the bathroom, the walk-in wardrobe, and the door. So I have, I'm sorry, I'm not making you dizzy. I mean, I have a pretty, re like, decent sized bedroom, but yeah, I have to scrapbook in here because we have a housemate and my son needs nursery. So that's what happens when you have kids, you have to sacrifice things. So to start off, I'll show you trying not to go too fast. This is um, my 4x4 cube that I use to store most of my albums and papers and everything in. Um, this one is not an Ikea one. We don't have Ikea here in Tassie so as much as I would love one of the Expedits I don't have the money to post one down here at the moment but yeah, so I just sacrificed a little bit and have this one, which is not as good quality. Um, I definitely recommend getting one from Ikea if you have that option. But um, basically on top here, I have a couple of, one of them's backwards, I've had them out and I haven't actually like totally tidied this room for this video. So up here I have a box of um, colour sorted sequins. I love and my whole big jar of different I don't know how well this is focusing today for some reason I don't know if it's on autofocus yes it is weird weird camera I don't know I've never filmed a video like this so anyway I have these which I'll pull down because these are like my main bit of storage as for embellishments so I have two of these I'm not sure what these ones are the ones that you get from um, Linkraft. So they were selling these out, I think, at one point. Okay, so I fixed my problem and now you should be able to see a lot better. Um, I didn't have it on auto at all like I thought I did. So anyway... This is my my cases that I use to store my embellishments. Um, you would have seen Nay show hers that were um, similar. I think she got hers from America. I just got these off a lady selling them online, um, like on the Project Life Australia group, or whatever it is. And I've just colour sorted my embellishments. So I've got red, and I had heaps of pink. So I've got light pink and light pink and pink. And I've got white, grey, black, purple, light blue, dark blue. And then the other one, which I'll get out to show you as well. Yeah. Doing things one-handed while filming is really hard. Um, so this one, I've got gold which is like chocolate full. I love gold. I've got brown and the, this one's called Magic because um, it's all the colour Magic by Heidi Swap that you can colour and has resist on it. And I've got frames, mixed colours because some of them I just couldn't colour so they were just too hard. And then I have a couple of things that I like 
to use a lot on my pages just changing hands here because I'm right handed and it was getting really difficult so what I did was I sorted out my scraps and I cut heaps of them down to six by six sheets and with any wonky leftover bits that I wouldn't like would normally go in the bin I punch stuff out of them so these are hearts that I use quite a lot I also punched a heap of Martha Stewart butterflies so I've just got those labelled butterfly and I've also got tabs great for the top of Project Life pages and a whole bunch of Martha Stewart flowers and I've got flare which is empty I think I plan to put my flare in that but I haven't done that yet and um, I have one there ready for paper clips which I also haven't put in and I have a spare one so that is my little embellishment storage doozies and I just get those out like when I'm doing a page I pick what colours I need for those they just sit up there now along here I have this this is very disorganised this is like a I think I might have got it from the reject shop um, it's got it, it can fit like the six six by four cards in there like a big chunk of them but these are not color sorted they're not organized at all so I really need to do that and there's like a whole heap of three by fours and I really can't get behind there to show you there's tons and tons of stuff in these oops I'm gonna have to put the camera down for a second sorry that's what happens when you get stuff out you can't fit it back in so I'm not sure what's at the back because to be honest I have not looked in here for such a long time I'm probably gonna find things I'm missing um pens apparently what is this my notebook punch okay so yeah anyway I've got three by four cards in there too and all of those need to be color sorted that's not how I'm going to store them and then in here I've got some stamps that I just haven't I need to come up with this is basically a video of my disorganization um, I haven't sorted my stamps yet got some Avery old pockets to do that but yeah I haven't done it yet and this little drawer I've got a whole bunch of flare and some paper clips and then I'm pulling out drawers so I don't know what's in this one's got wood veneer and lucky at last I don't know what's in this drawer either oh tags whole bunch of tags I need to use those up and in the bottom drawer I know it's in the bottom drawer I've got photos black ink pad and that's what I use with my typewriter the project life basic cards or cards um, but my typewriter is broken at the moment so no typewriting I've got this super old love LC recipe box for those that know me that have known me for a long time will know that I had a total obsession with love LC so sad that she doesn't do scrapbooking lines anymore but she does the messy box or whatever it's called but you're not the same and I've got this little basket which was at Woolworths at Easter time um, and it's just got all my enamel in it and I don't have a lot of enamel dots so not compared to the other scrappery girls these this is my little pull out thing for chipboard like I've got a bunch of um, just like my favorites in there you'll notice one's missing because it's the hearts and they use it all the time I've got these little jars of paper clips on sale or worse once and I just put picked them up thought they'd be cute for planning and I've got like an album that's not finished in there I've got some mini albums that haven't started and off the page projects in the end there now this is like my cubes so in here I've got cardstock mostly col colored so I don't use that and there's a couple of empty containers if I wanted to make up some kits to take anywhere my silhouette mat um, and a foam board and in this one there's a whole heap of photos to scrapbook in this one totally disorganization I was cleaning out and I just didn't know what to do with this cube and I have to sort it out there's giveaway stuff that I haven't done yet there's gorgeous gorgeous Mother's Day cards from my little 
my little baby boy who I've got to pick up very soon from daycare. So, oopsie, that's what, <laughs> that's what that shelf is. And then next along here, I picked up one more of these, I think they're called, and this one's like totally like fallen down. I'll see if I can fix it before I show you it. <laughs> um, these are, I don't know how to say it, it's Kvizzle, Kvizzle trays from Ikea and they fit, they don't fit 12 by 12 but you can pull them out and put them in a cube and make them look like they're holding 12 by 12. Bella! Um, so I put all my 12 by 12 paper in there so I've got two along here. These ones on this side I know are colour sorted and like category sorted, it's like specialty papers and then you've got pinks and florals and whatever. This one, the bottom is supposed to be just white cardstock, but I think a couple there on top of pages that I was working on. And this tray here is all stencils. Got lots of stencils. So, and these ones were like, I just really haven't had time to do it since I got back. But, um, oops. They're all like new papers, so I haven't sorted them. Same with this one. I love this pineapple vellum. Who else has got that? I've got a pineapple obsession. And it's not because they're like seriously awesome now, it's because I just was obsessed with pineapples when I was pregnant. It was my craving. So I've got some new stuff in there. And then I got a new collection the other day, the pirate one from Echo Park. So I just put that there. But yeah, I've got to sort out all this stuff. It's getting to be crazy. So next I've got here is some pages that need to go into albums, some um, design A sleeves for my project life and this one there's a cord to my cameo and all my punches. Sorry for the creaky voice, I sound really like a crocodile. Um, this is all like ribbon and twine, I need a better storage option for that. Um, these are some more papers that wouldn't fit there so definitely need to sort that out. And here is like a basket just full of like you've got sticker like sticker sheets and just stuff like that really need to categorize this as well just trying to come up with something for that and then this is my thickers crazy but I want to do those um I saw someone fuse a whole heap of 12 by 12 pockets to make those um, sleeves for their thickers so I think I might do that and get rid of thickers that are mostly used up so I might just get down on my knees which is not something I do often um, so this is my albums album storage and I think um, I can show you that these are the four mint from we are memory keepers and they have do you know what bothers me they have silver and then these ones have gold <laughs> but I'm going to get over it I really am um, so I think I'm just going to take a punt at this I've got so many albums in here it's like really hard to get any of them out <laughs> pull one out and then you're right <laughs> I think this one I really need to label it this one is like this year's um, Project Life album so I've got this sitting in my um what am I talking about? Oh, hold on. Going crazy. I'll pause you for a Okay, so. What I wanted to show you is, yeah, this is my current one. And, like, I made this using a kit, and you would have seen this in a process video, hopefully, if you've watched them. Um, but I'm not necessarily up to date on... Um, project lifing this year but I do manage to stay up to date on printing photos like you will see here I have picked cards and I have printed photos but there is no completed project life spread and I'm okay with that so like I know most of you will know I went to Nay's wedding it's a bridesmaid so I've got these all printed Nay's lovely wedding but yeah I don't have them done yet because I just haven't had time but I've got them all there ready to go. Photo booth fun. Look, it's us, it's the Scrappery Girls. Missing Sophie though. We had so much fun in this photo booth. 
seriously. Um, so yeah, I've got lots and lots of stuff ready to go and I'll give you a little sneak peek. There's, I put together two the other day for ready to use the kits. They're using the kit papers. So I've just got to put the embellishments in. So they will be my next process videos on the Scrappy channel. And there's my new nephew. He is so gorgeous. So I'll just pop this. It's actually getting really chunky and that's why I have four mint. I think I might be able to get away with having two for the year, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see how we go. So the four mint were designed for this year. But I may end up using the four because I will put the traditional pages in as well. And then I got these ones. Um, look how gorgeous they are. I don't know if I can catch them right. Like they're shiny gold foil and they're wood grain. They're from the Teresa Collins Studio Gold range. And they don't have any plans for them yet. But, oh my god, move up. <laughs> these two ones, I'm so going to wreck my nails doing this. Yeah. Ouch. This is really thick. This is a fabric one and it's um, from the LC Project Life range, Sunshine. It's beautiful. It says Life is Beautiful over it. It's Elisha's first year album and that is part one and it's I've still got to add a couple more bits like the birth story and stuff. And that next to it is part two, which I'm currently finishing. So, yeah, that's my album situation. This one I bought on sale somewhere, and now I don't really want it because I liked my albums in fours now, just because when they're done, I could fill an IKEA cube with it. That was my plan. Sister's Wedding album, random 8.5 by 11 album, I don't know what for. This 12 by 12 album is purely dog pages. <laughs> And this one I keep, what do I keep in here? I, I think I keep layouts that don't have albums yet. And I'll show you the other bit behind that after I've shown you this because I've got to move the Raskog. So this is my little scrap container. The majority of my scraps are cut down to six by six sheets. I did that recently. The rest have got to be all sorted out. I'm getting there with that. And this is like stamp galore. Wooden stamps, clear stamps, heat gun, blah, blah, blah. I rarely use it. Now, uh, everything I have to get down on the floor to show you. Okay, so in this one I've got some, uh, my, whoops, my glue gun. I just hit the camera. My, um, some embossing folders. Cute. I love this Maggie Holmes one. It's my favourite. And I won these ones. These were from the Rise and Shine. I haven't used them yet. I'm pretty lazy when it comes to embossing and stuff. And I've got my letterpress and also the stuff to make custom flair in this box. Oh my god, go back in. I don't know where I got those boxes from. They only just fit. This one's got all die cut stuff as well and my pinwheel maker. Oh, go back in. Okay, December Daily, 2013, Missing the Two that I never finished. <laughs> this is one of those journal albums. I haven't started that. December Daily last year, not started. <laughs> oh my God. A mini album for a friend that I haven't finished. It's all about like, I hope she doesn't watch this. It's actually a present. Um, <sighs> it's got... All of our Katy Perry, whoopsie, we went to Melbourne for Christmas and we saw Katy Perry live and she was amazing. I love her. Yeah, it's a Katy Perry badge. So yeah, I've got to give that to her, but I've got to finish it. So, and this is my pregnancy album. Look how insane that is, guys. I actually was so good. <laughs> Simple Stories featured on their blog, which was pretty exciting, but it's my Project Lifestyle pregnancy album the most emotional day um yes I was actually really good with completing that one that one's actually totally finished including on the back page a picture of my baby by god he's grown since then 
Those were the days, people. He's like a he's not, I'm gonna say he's like a teenager and he's only 18 months. That's terrible. Oh my god, I'm wrecking stuff now. I'll fix that later. So what's down here, people? I've got this is my sister's Project Life album. She's been Project Lifing with me. Um, this is another random al album, Amy Tangerine. And all I do with it is use it to store my page protectors in all different styles because, um, I, yeah, as I said before, I don't use albums unless I buy four of them, which is really OCD, but whatever. Oh, sneaky, sneaky peeky of a page that I've got for the scrappery. And glass mat use that with my fuse it's a stamping up one and this album is down there because I'm doing it for my nephew Ruben so that is there because I shall be working hard on that to get that completed now this is where my rascog goes beside my desk so I'll just show you the bottom first I've just got like some stencils some watercolour paper, watercolour book, some baby wipes, you can't have enough of those. And really not a very good effective use of the rascal card, but anyway. Got some little adhesives in this little thingo. And then this is where I store my 6x6 six six pads. Look how many I've got. I need to like seriously think about perhaps utilising those a bit more. Excuse me while I can get off the floor. Oh. I'm gonna give myself head spins all on you guys. So this is my um like the top and this is the most used section of my rascal car. It's like my mixed media station really, but I've got all kinds of things in here like inks, but I'm gonna put the inks down there. You watch me, I put them down there and I'll forget where they were. And acrylic blocks, that doesn't need to be there and glue that's adhesive <laughs> um i've got all kinds of sprays it's my oh no that's i can say it's my favorite but that's not my favorite that's my most used spray the black velvet color slime um yeah so i have lots of sprays i haven't tried these yet i forgot they were in there got those at the kaiser craft outlet in queensland i think i got them in yeah two colors pretty and um, then there's like stuff, there's watercolours at the front, yep. And we've got, turn around, modelling paste, I know that's gesso. And then there's like this Inca Gold stuff, this is stuff that you can like rub onto pages, I know that's clear tack glue, some masking fluid get all mixed media and whoops these are my Tim Holtz distress stains um, got a couple of newbies in there and some paints because I wanted to give those a go I love doing my distress stains splats cracked pistachio is a beautiful one some whip spackle I haven't tried that yet I don't think um, yeah because it's still done up um, change hands again oh my god this is really like my camera is a big SLR so it actually hurts to hold it for too long and then these are the Derivan is it Matisse um, paints and they're really thick and they're good for using with um, stencils I have them in a couple of colours and some palettes so that's my little Rascog and I would love to buy a second Rascog but I have nowhere to put it like that's next to oh my dog's, my dog's getting me naughty now. Um, that's like my really handy tripod set up, and that's my close to my heart bag. I suppose if I got rid of those two things, I could put one there, but I don't know. Right, so I might give you a quick look under here just because. Danica, that is your stamp. I found it. <laughs> um, so I will send you an email tonight. Uh, probably bef this is probably like way old news when this video goes up. This is my close to my heart box where I have got my 3x4 cards colour sorted 
it's just I need to actually sort the rest of them and have a system. The rest of that's scrappery stuff, so I don't need to show you under there. Listen to my naughty dogs. Bella, Louie. But yeah, they won't come now. This is my view outside my window. I absolutely hate it. Adam needs to mow the lawns. They're getting like long and thick. And like the owner planted... There's, there's Louie. That's my older dog. And there's Bella. Trotting around being... Bella, say hello. Say hello. Yes, I'm that weirdo that films my animals. They're my babies. Bella and Elijah are like best friends. So cute. Anyway, that's my view. But I want to like have colourful like flowers outside there. Not boring moss and maybe things that need weeding. But I have my huge dream catcher. Which is um, not going to show up very well in this kind of light. Um, so anyway, this is my stuff I have out at the moment on my desk to use, which is for the scrappery. It's using latest scrappery kits, and I'm going to attempt to scrapbook. It's got some sticky on it. This photo of me. That's me as a baby. I'm so glad that my dad had good photography skills. I have some cute photos of me. So I'm going to attempt to do that because I thought it looked cute with those papers. But anyway, here's my desk. So I have this, and I have had questions on the YouTube channel about the colour of this. It is a minty colour. It does get dirty, but I use here. This is totally, I'm not, um, this is not a sponsored message, but I use my Norwex cleaning paste on this, and it gets all the marks off it. So anyway, what I've got here, we don't have typos, so when I went to Queensland, I bought some wooden veneer from Typo because it was awesome and everyone knows how much I love pineapples and look at this one haven't opened this one yet oh no maybe I have yes I have I snuck a pineapple out I think that might be for a page I did last night did I before? anyway I won this little tray it's from Amy Tangerine from American Crafts like I never win anything and I commented on a post on Facebook and won this tray but yeah, I just got some coloured pegs, some rhinestones, some little, like, strawberries. How well will that show up? Yeah, some little strawberries. And some paper clips. Yep. So, just put little bits and pieces in there. And then these are my little, I don't know what you call them, ice cream bowls, maybe. And they've kind of got, like, the kits. Because if you look, there's this smuts kit. And it's like all the embellishments. I like combine them all and have them all sitting in the one kit so I can use them all together. So that's this month's kit. And then this one was the I want to say the March kit. So it's got all the leftovers. So what I should do is maybe like to get the bits used up, I leave them on my desk because I pick at them. But maybe when I get three bowls and I need I need the new one for the fourth month. I should like colour sort them or something. But this one, although excuse the citrus bliss, that's just chucked in there. But that was actually from the month before that, if you can see in the back. And this one is just totally random, random. Random, random. So, like, I've got like seriously an alphabet block and some stuff I bought off Facebook garage sale. And this, this is my favourite paper from Crate Paper. It's from the On Trend collection. And I cut out those flowers all the time. And I've got a whole bunch in here just like ready to cut out. But it's like super old. So I have those on my desk. Um, then I have my Studio Collins. Studio Collins. That's interesting. Studio Gold Teresa Collins trimmer. Which is awesome. And now someone is going to ring me. This happens every time I film a video. I don't even know that number. Goodness me. Okay, good time to move along the desk anyway. Um, so this is the hearts that I was talking about that I would have had, although there's a moustache in there. It's mostly hearts. Um, and I have some of these IKEA plant pots which have various things in them. Paint brushes, foam brushes, water brushes, pens, scissors, there's a corner chomper, 
stuff to go with the fuse fuse tool my Tim Holtz tiny attacher and I've got like this is how I store all my all my gelatos pretty and have a little typo owl a pair of scissors in it and my colored pencils for my current drawing of session another owl with some scissors these are like these are like weird scissors they're chompy chomps I don't know if that they're like cut fringe fringy fringe things anyway um, then I've got one of these Dealy C52 It journals, a couple of stamps for a customer, Heidi Swap planner, which I'm really not doing well with keeping up to date with, Studio Calico kits that I have not yet used and doesn't want to focus on those, but yeah, that's getting a bit out of control. Here I've got my roller stamps and some pens, and then we've got two one of those of washi and the bottom one of washi so the that container is from Kmart for you Aussie girls and this is just some close to my heart picture my life cards that are my sisters my cameo lives behind my computer but I can easily pull it out where needed to be and that's my biggest suggestion for people that have something like a cameo because if you put it away and have to drag it out to your computer you won't use it I know that because I've done it um I keep my this is my main planner which is my Mambi happy planner beside my desk because this is where I would organize all my appointments so then my last two weeks love my happy planner it's awesome and then we've got computer station doesn't like the screen being on does it I was sorting photos but and I've got this cute little it's I bought it because it reminded me of my dog because of the long ears but it's actually a basset hound not a beagle but it's cute and I've got my hard drive because you've got to remember to back up your photos people and in this messy cord mess is my sewing machine which I do bring up to my desk and use it quite frequently it's another scrappy box and the white foam board I use to film on sometimes. Um, there is a typewriter hiding behind there but it's broken at the moment. Really annoying because they're like really expensive to fix. And then this is my fuse tool. I have it here because this is where all the plugs are. Then this is my latest addition to my room. It was hanging on the wall and if you can see that little spot it fell off. So now I've got to fix the wall but that's alright because I'll deal with it. But I've got to find a happy message to write there. But basically, I know I'm going to have this sideways. Or is that going to film weird? That's going to film weird. Um, basically, I have all my new and happy stuff for me. Well, not necessarily new. Like, I suppose that's new. Um, anything new and sort of like unopened goes in here. So that I can get happy about, you know, opening it and using it. I love these. These are super cool super cool and um I love these I need a million packets of those so that's my like, embellishment section and then down here is all tiny word stickers and stick it like word stickers I keep them there because I use them heaps so that is basically my scrap space as I said not very big you can do a span again of the room not a big space at all but still at least I have an area at a scrapbook this is kind of the only time of day I can film process videos because you'll know now I've got some nice light coming in the window um, otherwise in the morning I get this really harsh sunlight and it causes sun flare and yuck it's just horrible to film in so I have to time my videos around this time of day but yeah all good so there you've got a little peek at where I scrap peek at my doggies and my little space and it doesn't always look this tidy because my son if you leave a chair like that he will quite easily climb up onto there and he'll be onto the desk and then he'll climb on the rascog and then he'll somehow get up there he's like a monkey so 
yeah my my space often gets trashed by a toddler but anyway um thank you for watching and i will see you soon with another video of some description i'm yet to do my ct intro video so you'll see well not see you might or well, you will see you'll see and hear a lot more about me and my scrapbooking and i have lots of process videos coming up so i'll see you then thanks for watching bye Thank you.